All right, listen to this staggering statistic on guns. According to the Office of Gun Violence Prevention Data Report, someone is killed with a gun every three hours in California. Joining us live to talk about this weekend's Gun Violence Reduction Summit is Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer. Thanks so much for coming in, Supervisor. Really Thank you appreciate for it. Me. Just a staggering number when you think about it. I mean, we've been on the air for three hours and one person dead from gun violence. That's eight Californians a day. I mean, What's the county doing uh, to address the issue? And tell us a little bit about the summit that's coming up here on Friday. Sure, yeah, I mean, it really is such a tragedy. And as a mom of a four-year-old, I think every day uh, about the fact that I'm dropping her off at school and who knows what could happen. And mm -hmm. I think so many parents share that fear. And that's why when I took office in 2021, tackling gun violence became one of my top priorities. Um, we voted to sue reckless gun manufacturers we've passed safe storage laws we've taken on ghost gun manufacturers so we've been doing a lot over the last two and a half years and now i've convened the summit i've invited attorney general rob bonta down here i'm going to be joined by council member pro tem montgomery step uh, city attorney mara elliott some other of our assembly members council members to really put our heads together and think what else can we do because we've been doing a lot but we have to be doing more, and I'm just really focused on fighting to push the envelope to keep our communities and our kids safe. And this is open to the public. Uh, the public can show up to this and hear from some of these advocates, some of these experts. Uh, what are you kind of hoping people walk away with from this from this summit? Uh, yeah, absolutely, it is open to the public. Uh, it's from 12 to 2 on Friday down at the County Administration Building at Waterfront okay. Park. It's also streaming uh, on Zoom. And <clears throat> I hope people can come together, help us think together about what else we can do um, how to, how to better hold some of these gun manufacturers accountable, what else we can do to ensure that guns are being stored, stored safely in our communities. As I mentioned, we did pass a gun safe storage law, but we really need partnership from the communities to implement that um, because I know, as I said, as a mom, one of my biggest fears is she could go over the, a play date at someone's house sure. and there's a gun lying around. So we have these safe storage laws, but we need help. We need partnership from the community to make sure they're being implemented and enforced and people are educated um, and really working together to tackle this. There are a lot of responsible law abiding firearm owners out there, but there are some that aren't. And uh, what is the advice to, to gun owners out there? If you were, if they're listening right now, um, some little things that they can do to help out. Can you make sure your gun is locked up and stored safely. And I hear this often from the, the best and most responsible gun owners is that they know how important this is and they're committed and they've been some of the best partners mm. in doing this education, sharing this with their neighbors because they understand um, the importance of being responsible. So make sure you're gonna sort safely, make sure that a, a kid can't get their hands on it, uh, someone who might be contemplating suicide mm -hmm. can't get their hands on it. Um, and so that's one important thing we can do to keep our community safe. And then I have just to say to the people out there who are trying to make a quick buck by selling illegal guns, mm -hmm. breaking the law, um, we won't have a place for that. We don't have a place for this here in San Diego County. Uh, we really stepped up and cracked down on uh, go illegal ghost gun manufacturers, right, right? right? These are these guns that you can buy on the internet that don't have serial yeah, you numbers. Assemble them and, yeah, I mean, you could issue. see a, a video on YouTube, right? Like a 14 year old kid. What is the county doing to crack down on that? Um, so we, first of all, we made them illegal, which they weren't before mm. I took office. So that was one of the first things I did. Um, and then we gave the DA a lot more enforcement resources and power so they could investigate these ghost gun manufacturers yeah. and then bring them to justice. Um, and so we've, we've really been pursuing those cases. Okay. And it's important because we know that we, there are a lot of responsible gun owners, Absolutely. but you do have these other folks that are you know, putting profits above lives. Yeah. All right, there's a website we can share with everyone because we got to run here that uh, where people can learn more about the summit. Great. What yeah. is that? Where should they go to your website? Sure. Um, it's uh, this, the county website. It's Supervisor Tara Lawson okay. and you can click on it and zoom and right. hopefully be there. Stay with us. We'll be right back.